Hi friends, welcome to Raman channel. Today we will see composite bar stress strain example. A steel rod of 3 cm diameter is enclosed centrally in hollow copper tube of external diameter 5 cm and external diameter 4 cm. The composite bar is then subjected to an axial pull of 45,000 newton. If the length of each bar is equal to 15 cm, determine the stresses in the rod and tube. Load carried by the each bar. Take E. For steel, 2.1 in 10 power 6 newton per mm square and for copper, 1.1 into 10 power 8 newton per mm square. This is the given question. This is the composite bar. Outer is the copper tube, inside is the steel rod. Outer diameter of copper tube is the 5 cm. Internal diameter of the copper tube is the 4 cm. And diameter of the steel rod is the 3 cm. Load applied is 45,000 newton and length of each bar is equal to 15 cm. Okay. First, we write down the given data. First, I am taking load. That is P. P equal to how much? 45,000 Newton. Okay. I am taking copper tube. Outside diameter of copper, how much? External diameter of copper is 5 centimeters. That is 5 centimeter. We want in the millimeter. That is 50 mm. 5 into 10. And DC. That is internal diameter of copper. How much? 4 centimeter. 4 centimeter. That is equal to? 40 mm next steel lot of 3 cm diameter that is the ds s means steel 3 cm that is equal to 30 mm okay now what is the given length of each bar is equal to 15 cm that is l l equal to 15 cm that is equal to 150 mm 150 mm and E for steel, E means Young's modulus. E of steel and how much? E of steel equal to 2.1 into 10 power 6 Newton per mm square. Similarly, E for copper, that is Young's modulus of copper, how much? 1.1 into 10 power 8 Newton per mm square. Okay, first we find the area of copper to and area of the steel rod. So I am taking area of steel, that is A is equal to Okay, you have only one diameter that is a 5 by 4 into ds square that is equal to 5 by 4 into ds means how much 30 volt square now area of steel equal to 5 by 4 into 30 square shift to 5 by 4 into 30 square is equal to how much 706.858 706.858 mm square. This is the area of steel. Now I want to find the area of copper. That is AC. AC equal to 5 over 4 into here outside, outside diameter and inside one. That is capital DC square minus small DC square. Outside dash square minus inside dash square. That is equal to 5 over 4 into what is the outside there? 50. 50 square minus what is the inside there? 40, 40 square. Now area of copper is equal to 5 by 4 into 50 square minus 40 square. We are close. Equal to how much? 706.85. Same. Both are same values. 706.85 mm square okay now you have to apply two conditions first condition is the strain in steel strain in steel is equal to strain in copper copper to R. strain in steel equal to strain in copper to strain we indicated by the small e s equal to small e copper e c how you find the e s we know in small less is equal to stress by strain. Now interchange is two. Now strain equal to stress by Young's mod less. What is stress here? Sigma S by ES. That equal to sigma C by EC. But we don't know the sigma S value, sigma C value. Sigma S by what is the ES? ES equal to 2.1 into 10 power 6. 2.1 into 10 power 6 is equal to sigma c what is the ec 1.1 into 10 power 8 
okay i'm bringing this 1.1 into temporary this side then sigma is by 2.1 into 10 power 6 into 1.1 this becomes into into 10 power 8 is equal to sigma c now find the value of this 1.1 into 10 power 8 by 2.1 into 10 power 6 1.1 into 10 power 8 by 2.1 into 10 power 6 is equal to how much 52.38 now sigma 52.38 into sigma is equal to sigma c this is the first condition one more condition is the now total load equal to total load equal to load carried by steel what are the here steel and copper load carried by steel plus load carried by copper by copper we know that stress equal to load by area load equal to stress into area here total load we are doing p is equal to load carried by steel the ps plus load carried by copper is the pc what is the total load they are applying here 45,000 Newton. Now 45,000 Newton is equal to PC means sigma, PS means sigma S into AS plus PC means sigma C into AC. Now 45,000 is equal to sigma S. What is the AS? Area of steel. How much? 706.8. into 706.858. 706.858. Sigma C, but Sigma C equal to 52.38 into Sigma S, 52.38 into Sigma S into AC. What is the area of the copper? Area of copper is the 706.858. 706.858. Now 45,000 is equal to, from these two, it can take Sigma S as common. What is the remaining year? 706.858 plus what is the remaining year? 52.38 into 706.858. Find this value. 706.858 plus 52.38 into 706.858. Is equal to how much? 377, 32.08. Now that equal to sigma is into 377.32.08. This side is the 45,000 x. Now bring this one to this side. Then sigma is equal to 45,000 by 377.32.08. 45,000 by answer is equal to 1.192. Sigma is equal to 1.192 Newton per mm square. But what is the relation between sigma s and sigma c? Sigma c equal to 52.38 into sigma s. Now that equal to 52.38 into what is the sigma s? 1.192. 52.38 52.38 into 1.192 is equal to 62.436 62.436 newton per mm square this is the stress in the copper this is stress in the copper and this is the stress in the steel we complete this one the stress in the rod and tube the rod means steel rod and copper tube this is not what the remaining load carried by each part that is load carried by the steel and load carried by the copper tube uh, we find load carried we know ps is equal to sigma s into as ps is equal to load carried by steel that is load carried by by steel is it sigma s is equal to uh, sorry ps is equal to load means ps na ps is equal to sigma s into as what is the sigma s 1.192 1.192 into as is the area of steel area of steel how much 706.858 706.858 
that is equal to 1.192 into 706.858 is equal to how much? 842. 842.57 newtons. This is load na newtons only. Now we have to find the load carried by the copper. Load carried by copper. That is PC. That is equal to sigma C into AC. Now PC is equal to what is sigma C? Sigma C is the 62.436. 62.436 into what is the AC? Area of copper. Area of copper is the 706.858. 706.858. That is equal to. 62.436, 62.436 into 706.858 is equal to double four one double three double four one double three newtons. This is the load carried by the copper, and this is the load carried by steel, and this is load carried by the copper, and this is the stress in the steel, and this is the stress in the so this is the stress in the copper, this is the stress in the steel. Like this, you have to do. Thank you for watching my video.